We need to play with a spooky palette. <laughs> and a cat. I have a cat. Nicky boo. Welcome to October and spooky season. You know what that means. We need to play with a spooky Halloween palette. This palette is new to me, but it's not a new palette. This is one of the collab palettes between Uden's Eye and Angelica Nyquist. They did a Halloween collab. There were two palettes, and I chose to order this palette. I am so excited. I love the artwork on the packaging. Even on the inside, it's very nice with the mirror. I'm sure that you have probably seen this palette before, but as I said, it is new to me, and as you can see, it is untouched, and I cannot wait to create something amazing with this palette. So in preparation, I watched Angelica's video where she did three amazing looks with this palette and every time I watch one of her videos or any of the younger creators here on YouTube I always wonder to myself would that color combination look good on my very mature eyes so I am going to recreate one of the looks that she created and we're going to find out Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. If you're new here, my name is Leanna, and I am an almost 60-year-old beauty and makeup enthusiast, and it is my passion to help you be more confident, find your self-worth, show yourself some self-love, all using the magic and power of makeup. So let's get into it. I have, of course, already done my base makeup. I have primed and set my eyes. I've done my brows. My lips are done. I am also going to be trying out some gel eyeliners that were gifted to me from Ravant. They are a company that creates makeup products for us mature women. They sent me all of these beautiful gel eyeliners. They're supposed to be very creamy and very easy to use on our mature eyes. And look at this color range. Purple, navy, green, brown, black, and gray. Gray. I'm super excited about that. So I thought that I would try these along with this beautiful palette because purple, green, those are Halloween colors to me. So Angelica started out with this shade here, which is called Broomstick. And she put that on the outer corner of her eye. I'm going to use this refer number 15. And this is, this look, I'm excited about it because I love how it turned out. But this is definitely what this type of shade is going to be way out of my comfort zone. And if you see me looking over here, that is my monitor where I have a picture of her and this amazing look. I will put that right here so that you can see what I am creating. That is a beautiful shade and it is very, very pigmented. And it matches my lip color perfectly. <laughs> Super easy. Now, I have a little spot right there that's not wanting to hold the color. Okay, that's a little bit better. But I believe that that is my, my eye, my skin, not, not the shade. 
I don't believe she went quite that deep, but that's okay. We are going to roll with it so far. Wow, that is a beautiful shade. And then she went here into Little Ghost and she put that kind of in the crease next to Broomstick. And I'm using a BK Beauty 203 brush. Y'all know I love me a good purple. She also put both of these shades under her lower lash. That's very pretty. So then she goes here into Skeleton, which she calls an almost white lavender. I love the embossing. You see the pumpkin there in that. And I'm going to use the same VK Beauty brush and just clean it off on my switch. And she took that and she put it in her inner corner. And blended it up into Little Ghost like that. Very nice, actually. I wasn't sure how I was going to like that kind of pastel type shade. She also used it to kind of blend out that edge. Very nice. And then she goes here into Omnius, which is a beautiful purple shimmer. And she sprays it on her brush before she applies. So let me get my... I'm going to use my LYS setting spray in this Angie Hot and Flashy uh, collab with BK Beauty. This is an A505. Ooh, that is beautiful. And she places that here. Kind of in the center. And this is the first time that I am getting any fallout. But sometimes that's to be expected when you're using that type of shimmer shade. Maybe I should have sprayed it again. That is a beautiful shade. She then went here into Candy Corn, and I'm going to use the BK Beauty 203. And she used that which she calls a peach. I guess it's a peachy orange. And she used that to blend this outer edge. So I'm just going to kind of tap that on. That's really nice, actually. And then just use it to blend. Wow. These, these shadows are amazing. They blend amazingly well. Have a cat hair somewhere. People are always fussing at me about touching my face, but they're cats, y'all. They're cats. That is amazing. 
So I'm going to use that same brush and I'm going to go back into Skeleton and do just a little bit more blending. Right in here. Then she went into this shade here, which is called Boo. <laughs> Hey, boo. And she put that here in between these two shades. That is a peachy pink, and it has some, some blue, maybe even a teal reflect. Y'all see that? My goodness. She also went into this shade, which is licorice. Let me find a smaller, smaller brush. This is a rougher 13. And she put that just here. To darken that up a little bit, give it some depth. I'm gonna run that up into my crease just a little bit. My goodness, that's beautiful. What do you think? That is the look that she did. Of course, she put on lashes. Okay, it doesn't look like she used an eyeliner with that look, but of course, we are going to try one of these beautiful eyeliners. I think, I'm not positive. Ooh, look at that green. This is what the packaging looks like, very nice. Very nice packaging. They twist up. Let's... Oh. Do I want to do green? That glided on very, very easy. Which, of course, is the purpose. Oh. Of a gel liner. Look at that shade. Very rich. I mean, that goes on very, very soft. Very pretty. These are waterproof. Very easy. I love it when it's easy because trying to get eyeliner on your lower lash, lower waterline, you know how they can be really hard and dry and they just drag and you're pulling and tugging, which is not a good thing. So that was very nice. I'm excited to use the black to tight line. I don't know whether I want a tight line. Do I want a tight line? Why not? Let's tight line. I do like to tight line. I don't ever do a wing because my eyes are so crinkly that it's just really hard to do. Look at how easy that was. And I didn't get any of it on my contact and it's not causing a film. Sometimes they will cause a film to form on my contacts. I'm telling you that it is hard for me with 
my mature crinkly eyes because you can see how crinkly they are to tight line and get eyeliners on so I am really liking that very nice so now I'm going to put some lashes on because she's all about her lashes and then I'll be right back and we will wrap this up before I put on my false lashes, I am going to put on this Prime Lash Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. This is from Prime Prometics. Very nice tubing mascara. And here is the final look with the lashes. These are the Natasha Denona Sophia lashes. Very easy to put on. So yes, yes you can create these amazing looks like all the young girls do with your mature eyes. This was a lot of fun I enjoyed it. I love the palette. Love it. I love the formula. I was worried and that's why I waited so long before I bought this palette because I was not sure that I was going to like those types of shades. She also did a look with these blues. So now I want to go back and create that. Y'all let me know in the comments do you want to see me create another look like she did using this palette? Very nice. I'm very happy that I have it. I, when I purchased this, I bought a couple of other Uden's Eye palettes, and now I'm excited to try those. This palette is still available on their website. I believe it's like $43. I will put a link down in the description to the palette. It is not an affiliate link. I will put Angelica's code to save you some money in case you're interested in purchasing it. Thank you so much to Ravant for sending me these gel eyeliners. I really did like those. I will put a link to these down in the description box as well. That will be an affiliate link. And I'm waiting to find out whether or not there's a discount code. If there is, that will be down in the description as well. If you like Halloween type makeup looks, I will put another video here for you to go watch. And I will see y'all in my next video. Okay? Love you. Bye.